You have no choice. You're going to lose your culture. You're going to lose your country. You're going to have crime, the likes of which nobody has ever seen before. Now, I'm speaking from common sense. You see, the Republican Party has really become the party of common sense. We need common sense. Now. I mean, we're not going to have men playing in women's sports. Things, we want to have a border. We want to have a border. We want to have good education. We want to have low taxes. We want to have a strong military. I rebuilt our military. Then they give away a big chunk of it to Afghanistan in the single most embarrassing day in the history of our country. The same idiots are dealing with us now on nuclear weapons in Russia and the problems in the Middle East. We have this whole world is exploding. And you know, one of the toughest, smartest people said very nicely, Viktor Orban, he's the head of a place called Hungary. He said, if you bring Trump back, everything's going to be good. Otherwise, this whole world is going to end up in a big, fat world war. You're going to end up having a thing. Also with us, our Crawford County Sheriff, Dale McCulloch. Dale, thank you, wherever Dale is. Thank you, Dale. Thank you, good job. Prairie Duchene, Police Chief, Kyle Tiener. Kyle, thank you very much. Thank you, Kyle. Good job. And Wisconsin GOP Chair, Brian Chimming. Thank you very much. Where's Brian? Oh, Brian, stand up, Brian. Are we going to win, Brian? Okay, good. Brian's doing a great job. Doing a great job. Thanks, Brian. Good job. What Kamala did not talk about in her lies last night, just lied, everything was a lie. And I always say, why didn't she do it? You know, she's been here almost four years. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. Reading off a teleprompter. Isn't it nice to have a president that doesn't need a teleprompter? I don't know. But I keep asking, I said it in the debate, I said, so why don't you do it? Why don't you just do it? We're going to do this, we're going to... She's been there for almost four years, they didn't do anything, except destroy our country. So why don't you do it? Then she says about a bill, it was such a bad bill, this bill that she talks about. You know, it's a fake bill. It was put in by the Democrats with a couple of Republicans that got duped and put before nobody wanted to vote. She says, I'm the one that talked them out. I wish I had that ability that I was the one that said, don't vote for it. But I do have a certain say, but I would have never voted for that bill. It was so bad. It, was, it would have allowed everybody